Sure. So good morning, everybody. And thank you so much for joining us for this extremely uh, special mentoring circle once again on the Saturday morning and more so for waiting and, you know, actually giving us your time uh, while we waited for Sarika to join in. And um, so today's uh, topic is on something that is such a big part of all our lives. Um, um, you know, we're constantly measuring ourselves. If you actually see, we're actually measuring every minute or almost every hour of our li lives against what are we doing at that point of time or what we have to do ahead of time. And, uh, you know, even if you have to sometimes look at the value of your life, we say, what is the relevance? And again, there's a time connotation. And um, we all over here have made some progress. You know, I wouldn't say that, you know, we're not, we're not able to manage our time. The fact that you're here actually shows that you, you're doing something right. Because um, I was reading, and according to this one scholar, American scholar, uh, Lewis Boone, uh, he's actually said that I will do a course on time management when I can find the time to schedule it in my schedule. Yeah. So, you know, on that note, we will uh, call upon Sarika, but I just want to leave you with a little, little humor, Um, you know, so, you know, the thing with time is that sure, it needs all our attention. It needs a lot of effort. Um, So, you know, somebody said time is money. And I believe that it surely is, especially if I'm talking to my shrink and my lawyer. So with that, we're going to hand it over to Sarika. Sarika, huge welcome to you. Thank you so much, Charu. Thank you. And welcome, everybody. First of all, apologies for joining late because they, I mean, I had to attend to this personal emergency. All right. So um, I request everybody, all the beautiful ladies to show your like, you know, beautiful smiles and then bright faces. Because I, I believe that, you know, uh, energy is contagious, especially like positive energy. And especially with a group of, you know, women, let's like, you know, show our faces and then like lighten up the whole room here in the Zoom. Yeah, go ahead, people. Go ahead. Lovely. Thank you, Hema. Thank you, Dali. Thank you, Anita. How about others? Go ahead, people. If you're traveling, we understand. Uh, but then otherwise, like, wow. I feel like, you know, a, a light is glowing on one by one. Like, it's, it's going this way. <laughs> Great. Awesome. So let, let's just wait for 10 more seconds for others to start their video. Yeah. And, and while we're waiting, um, I just want to take also a minute to introduce Sarika. You know, I've been, we've been so focused on, see, again, so focused on starting on time that I haven't really, you know, I, I, I kind of lost the opportunity to share with you all. And here it is. So Sarika is uh, India's leading productivity coach. Um, not only that, she's found the time somewhere in her heavy schedule to write a book and she's been mentioned by the India Book of Records. Uh, she's one of the number one authors on Amazon. And uh, more than that, she's also got the good intent where she set herself a goal, again, a time goal, that by 2030, she's going to make um, 1 million individuals working, non-working, and make them more conscious about their time and help them actually lead a stress-free life. So... That's that's amazing, um, Sarika. Thank you so much, Charu. Thank you for that introduction. Um, so I think people are still joining. Others, just just come on, like you know. We'll, uh, we'll show start. the light. It's okay. We'll start, Sarika. We'll yeah, yeah. Happy. We are going to start. Yeah. So I'm going to share my screen. Uh, are you able to see the screen here? Yes. Everybody. Okay. Cool. Let me open the chat box also here. Just a second, I'm just setting it up. All right, so I welcome all of you to the next one over, like, you know, be 10 next productive and more. Uh, it is a kind of an interactive and action-oriented workshop for especially the genomics community. And uh, thanks to Bhavna and Charu for inviting me here. So um, what I want all of you to do is right now, I want you to write down what is your intention to join today's workshop. 
what's your intention to join today's workshop? Because um, ladies, um, when you set intentions, you we also have really a few men, Sarika. Oh, hi. Hello. Okay. I couldn't see. Okay. Yeah. Hello, everybody. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, that's how I want to refer them. Okay. So uh, whenever you set intentions, whenever you set some outcomes for any task, before any task that you do. So your focus will double or triple. This is as per Howard research. Okay. So just please reflect on 30 seconds. Um, like, you know, what are your intentions to join today's workshop? If you can unmute yourself and then share, like, you know, we can have a couple of volunteers. Otherwise you can, uh, uh, you know, type it in the chat box, everybody. Let's make it more interactive. Hi, Sarika. Hi, Sarika. Hi. Um, just please uh, mention your name and then you can you know, tell us. So, tell hi, us I'm Jenti. And I would, learn, I would like to learn how to be more focused towards my goals. Super. Uh, why Jenti, right? Jenti. Okay. Yeah. Jenti, yes. uh, have you set your goals first of all? Uh, okay. They are somewhere there at the back of my mind. Yeah, but I okay. haven't really. I do make a to-do list. Okay. Every week. Okay, super. But yes, apart from that, I haven't really gone deeper into it. Okay, so I request uh, to go into specific details. It's not just for Jayanti. As I'm sharing the things, it is uh, you know uh, catered to everybody's needs or like you know uh, the concerns or challenges. All right. So as I already mentioned, uh, Jayanti, setting intentions specifically will improve um, your focus towards those goals. Yes, improve my focus because work. then that would automatically improve my productivity, my Absolutely. achievement of goals, <laughs> yeah. right? So first the focus has to improve. So I thought I'll get some useful tips from this webinar from you. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, sure. I'll, I'll provide whatever the best I can do. So thank you. And how about others? Let me read the chat box. Like how to, uh, Rajita says how to prioritize and focus on key ones. Okay, I have a simple but you no know, powerful uh, productivity tip that will help you to prioritize. Understand a few uh, best practices for time management and what are the derailers. All right, uh, that's from Aparna. I'll quickly read out a couple more. Um, Dolly says like to learn on some tips and tricks. Yes, absolutely, that's there. And Sanya says to stop saying I don't have time, especially for things that matter the most. Yeah, saying no is the biggest challenge, right? Cool. Uh, Ritika says how to create more value for each hour. Awesome. So I have, I think I have uh, pretty much whatever you're looking uh, for. I know what needs to be done, but not much motivated. Okay. So I want to take this up. Shruti. I hope everybody are listening to me. Are you all with me? Hi. Uh, just one thing I wanted to add, uh, while all of us are good at managing time i think this is something that as senior executives we have learned through the career what mm -hmm. is really really important is how to stay away from distractions like social media like whatsapp like phone i think for me that is one of the big things that i want to learn out of today's uh, workshop i'm sorry i had to button because uh, I, I thought this point was not being covered and i was like let me just get this across thank you yeah yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for your responses. Um, I just want to tell you one thing uh, with respect to motivation. I hope you're all listening to me, right? Please listen to this one particular thing carefully. Motivation is highly overrated. Motivation is highly overrated. You don't need motivation to do things, to do your tasks every day. But what you need to do is to have a clarity of actions not just motivation. So now how to get clarity of action. I have a productivity tip for you. So just wait for that one. Okay. So how many of you are super excited to be part of this workshop? Say me in the chat box, everybody. Go ahead and then say me in the chat box. Yeah, Shifali raised her hand. I think like Charu is like super excited. <laughs> cool, go ahead. Yeah, Chitra, Mansi, Dali, Shweta, Swati, Aparna. Okay, one more Shweta. Sanya, Jayanti, great energy, people, great energy. Uh, hi, good morning. Good morning. Hi, who's this? Uh, Mansa. I'm Manasa. Hi, Manasa. So I just wanted to add uh, uh, my, I mean, what 
with what intent i joined i feel um, personally i am quite uh, productive and i do all my task lists at the end of mm-hmm. i mean at the beginning of every day and all but my intention to join today is to uh, learn how to enjoy each activity better i feel that i always i end up covering most of my activities that i think once you join a, a work forum you're trained to do your uh, daily tasks properly before you log off so i think uh, that's uh, not completing my whatever personal or professional tasks is not the issue for me but uh, i feel that uh, i could learn how to enjoy to do each whether it's for my job or whether it's in my personal life uh, my intention to join today is to get any tips on how to enjoy uh, each uh, task that i do better super um so man mansa or mansi mansa mansa okay so i want to address this particular question so how many of you like you know um want the same kind of you know um enjoyment and enthusiasm that like you no know, manasa is looking for how many of you are looking for a simple tip super super um guys i'm getting call from hospital just give me one minute please one minute sorry uncle chapan uncle yeah i'm i'm back i'm back that's fine um sarika we were also talking i was just mentioning that and you know we've spoken about this if you can cover on how to actually overcome the feeling of time that you feel that is wasted mm-hmm. and then actually you know dwelling dwelling on time how do you how do you how do you move get up and move forward yeah 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 Uh, yeah i have that as a first concept so i think i'll cover that as well charu okay super so um coming to uh, mansa's uh, you know uh, question like how can you enjoy whatever you are doing right so you just need to rely on the star hormone which gets released in your brain when you do uh, you know small activity even in even in um, sorry even a small activity okay it's called dopamine everybody dopamine is a feel good hormone whenever you achieve or whenever you accomplish a particular task or whenever you have your favorite food not junk food huh? i'm not don't tell me like you know sarika has told uh, favorite food i'm like you know hogging on like a lot of junk food no not that one um so dopamine gets released in your body and then dopamine is responsible for you to uh, i mean it inspires you to take more action so if you have seen successful people or like you know super productive people and high performance uh, i mean high performers they take super advantage of this dopamine that's how they enjoy whatever they are doing even they don't like it they just get into the action mode okay and uh, just for 5 minutes if uh, you guys can focus on anything so dopamine gets produced and then that uh, you know keeps you in the momentum all right so um uh if you got this right type dopamine in the chat box everybody dopamine dopamine super 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 energy okay so uh keep your questions uh like if if at all in the um like you know concepts that i'm going to cover if your questions and intentions doesn't get covered we have a q and a session i'll answer all of your questions over there cool so now um if you haven't covered your current biggest challenge in your intentions like what is the current biggest challenge that you're facing like you know it's a pressing issue for you that you want to overcome it so what is that current biggest challenge for you just type in the chat box quickly please yeah okay dolly says lack of consistency all right yeah how about others overcoming distractions lack of focus yeah yeah okay okay lack of consistency getting bored easily interesting so uh, shruti we have uh, an ebook like acharu will be sharing that right after this uh, workshop so even when you don't feel like working even uh, like you know if you feel like you know your your work is like monotonous or 
sometimes like we have mood swings like right? especially women so how to overcome i have given some tips so charu will be sharing that with you all yeah cool super okay thank you so much for responding and i want you to focus on one thing at a time which is a mandatory thing one thing at a time people so what is the one thing for you right now what is the one thing for you right now you are in this workshop what is the one thing for you to i mean for you to focus on right now is it simple like you know just to focus on whatever i am like you know uh, teaching you <laughs> yeah exactly focus on the session so uh, this is a mindset tip productive mindset tip just write down on your notepads one thing at a time take one thing at a time take one day at a time take one task at a time because our brains are not like you know designed for multitasking our brains are designed to focus on one thing so that's when our focus improves our energy improves our overall productivity improves listening thank you so much everybody okay so now um the very first concept that i'm going to um, you know make you aware about is the attitude is your attitude towards the time so what is attitude so it's the way you think and approach time that's the attitude is the way you think and approach the time so everybody has 24 hours right but then why only few people take you know a benefit of this 24 hours and then why others are not able to take it's the way we think and approach time and then um if you have come across like you know high pro i mean highly productive people or you know highly successful people they don't take time for granted they don't take time for granted so uh, there are two types of attitude as i take you through these two types i want you to become aware understand what is your attitude towards time okay so this is like uh, blame attitude the number 2 is responsibility attitude so the blame attitude people always feel they are victims of their own circumstances their own situations irrespective of what happens they always feel they are victims okay why me why me why me kind of a people and they always complain about life complain about others blame others they don't take responsibility of their own actions so they always they are always like you know uh, in the suffering mode so um let us say um okay um one second sorry sorry so they always suffer that like you know i i have only so much of time but then i have so many other things to do like they are in this like you know victimized and then suffering mode and then complaining mode okay why my manager gives me so much of work and they always feel bad rather than taking actions and they always they're always in this like you know scarcity mode of thinking what is scarcity mode of thinking though these people have like 24 hours they always feel that the time crunch in their heads they always feel that time is so less this is the approach this is the attitude the look i mean the blame attitude kind of a people but then uh, on the other hand the responsibility attitude people they feel that they are the creators of their own circumstances their own situations they they, they create their life and they, they always feel that they have control over their situations whatever happens whatever happens from the external you know people external conditions whatever they always feel that they are in control of the situation and then they understand the reality that everybody has 24 hours in the world everybody and then how can i take maximum advantage of this time that's the reality they understand and like how to take advantage of this time they build habits and then they enjoy the rewards why do they enjoy rewards when they start enjoying the rewards when they start celebrating even small wins what is the hormone that gets released everybody the star hormone they take advantage of this everybody please type in what is the star hormone that responsibility attitude or productive people rely upon 
Absolutely, the Archana, dopamine. It's dopamine, people, everybody. Yeah, it's dopamine. And they always approach time in abundant way, I mean, abundant mode of thinking. So they always feel that they have time, but they don't take it for granted. That's the difference here. Let us say uh, to complete a certain task, it takes eight hours. Six hours has already gone by. Responsibility attitude, you know, people feel that like, you know, how can I utilize this next two hours to get the task done? Whereas on the other hand, like blame attitude, people, oh my God, I've already last six hours. They always brood over this, like, you know, last six hours. They might be procrastinating. They might be like, you know, going through a lot of work pressure in the six uh, hours, past six hours. And they'll be worrying, oh my God, I have only two hours. Like, you know, how should I complete my task? I hope everybody are seeing the, you know, two different kinds of approaches towards time, right? So the question, everybody, if you want to take a screenshot, please go ahead and then take a screenshot. Please refer to this as a checklist. Yeah. I hope everybody has taken a screenshot. So now the question uh, to all of you is, sorry, one second. The question to all of you is, I want you to reflect which attitude do you resonate with most of the times, most of the times in your day? Be, please be candid. You need not type in the chat box, but then if you have a notepad and pen, just go ahead and then write it. So if let us say like, you know, um, Sarika, um, like, you know, not as a productivity coach, but then as a learner uh, participant, she resonates with blame attitude. Like, why, do she, why does she resonate? Maybe because she feels bad about like the lost time rather than taking actions. So I resonate with this particular parameter. I write that down. And then what is the action that I'm going to take to, uh, you know, overcome this blame attitude and then get into the responsibility attitude. I'll give you exactly like, you know, one minute, please go ahead and then reflect and then start jotting down the action item. If at all, let's say you are complaining. Okay. Being in the blame attitude. Now, how can you take control over your situations? Or just write, I, my life is in my control kind of a statement. Archana says both uh, based on situation, situation in which I feel helpless, I go in victim mode. Yeah. So thank you for being honest. Uh, Charu says in situations, I'm not controlled blame. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. But then now the, like the next question is like, how can you overcome this? What are the actions that you're going to take for yourself? Because you know about yourself better. Do you want to build habits? Do you want to build some productive habits, productive, you know, rituals or routines in your daily life so that your entire day is productive? I'm, I'm definitely going to give you a lo lot of productivity tips, techniques, and certain frameworks for you uh, to overcome, uh, you know, blame attitude and then get into the responsibility attitude by taking actions. But apart from that, or you can pick as I, you know, uh, train you on the uh, tips and techniques. You can pick up certain things and then start taking actions. Binu George says, when I'm not able to complete everything I have planned for, feeling of slowness. Is it a, a kind of a regret that you, um, uh, you know, you feel, Binu? Is it a guilt feeling? Like I, maybe I could have done more. I should have done more. Is I, that I, the one we do? I, I think it's the expectations that I have, you know, that I need to get so much done. <laughs> You're falling short of the expectation set. Okay, yeah. Do you get into that guilt trap? Yes, sometimes, yes. Yeah. So thank you for sharing that, Binu. Um, how many of you get into the guilt trap, the guilt mode at the end of the day that you haven't done much you haven't met the expectations. You haven't, you know, checked off everything in the to-do list. Okay, I see like, you know, hands raising up. Yeah. Let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, 
guilt trap guilt is one of the you know um the worst uh things uh, that you can carry i mean worst feeling because guilt puts you on procrastination mode guilt is one of the major reasons why people procrastinate guilt is a major reason why people procrastinate okay i had uh, one client who was working i mean who was working for apple so um he was going to bed like you know after listening to all his you know the surface level problems or the symptoms so we brainstormed like for three, four days and I had to understand his daily routine. But what I understood at the end of like, you know, third or fourth day is that he was going to bed with the guilt mode. When he was going to the guilt mode, he ended up having disturbed sleep. I could have done more. I'm an Apple, like, you know, uh, people expect a lot out of me, not Apple here in India, but then in USA, like, you know, there is cultural differences and there are a lot of other things that, you know, uh, affect or impact, right? I mean, a person's performance. So he was going to bed every single day with that guilt. Maybe I could have done more. I should have done more. And he ended up uh, having insomnia also. And he started taking pills. C can, can you see that, you know, vicious uh, loop that you can get stuck into just because of the guilt factor? So please start becoming aware of your feelings first. So this is out of the you know concepts, but then since the uh, question has come up, I want everybody to just become aware of your feelings. I'll, I'll, I'll take you through uh, more of this uh, no feelings and then actions part in the third concept. But then thanks for bringing that up, you know. Now, how can you overcome that, you know, um, guilt mode? Start gratitude journal. Gratitude journal, it, it closes the loop for that particular day before going to bed. At least like, you know, half an hour or one hour before. Um, get into digital detox mode. Do not touch your phones. Do not touch any gadgets. Just start writing down at least like, you know, three things that you are grateful for. So this is the format, everybody. If you want, you can make a note of it. Today, I am happy and grateful for... Absolutely, Arti. Journaling, writing, positive affirmation, it helps me get back to the positive mind frame. Absolutely. So when we are grateful, we are at peace, we are in the present moment, we are thankful, we are positive, and that's the emotional state that we need to, uh, you know, we need to uh, get into before going to sleep. Absolutely, Charu. Today, I'm happy and grateful for. Write down at least three things, with, starting with the same phrase. Today, I'm happy and grateful for, you know, uh, being with all of you. Today, I'm happy and grateful for uh, coordinating my uncle's family for, you know, uh, the health concerns. Today, I'm happy and grateful for maybe another day, another beautiful day in my life. So that's how I would end. So how many of you will promise that you will uh, start writing uh, or start, you know, uh, gratitude journaling from today onwards? If you have been doing absolutely superb, yeah, you can do every morning, but then when you do it before your sleep, that sets your state because the quality of your sleep determines the energy with which you carry the entire day. You can do in the morning, but then it is preferable that you do before your sleep. Superb. Awesome people. Thank you so much. All action takers. I love the energy, Charu. Superb. Okay. So now going into the second concept, before going into the second concept, please remember that your experience of time shapes the experience of your life. Like however you're approaching your time, it, it determines how you're approaching your overall life because your time is your life. How many of you agree with that? Your time is, is nothing but your life. If you don't have time, which means that you don't have life at all on this beautiful planet. Yeah. Cool. So Aarti, uh, can we do affirmations in the morning and gratitude journaling in the night? Yeah, perfect Aarti. Affirmations put you in the positive mode actually. Super positive mode. Cool. 
So I'll, I'll take you through like what exactly is productivity and let us uh, burst some myths around like, you know, productivity. So basically what is productivity? It's your ability to get work done effortlessly in the least time possible. Just read this for yourself, okay? I have highlighted a certain words in like, you know, orangish color. It's your ability to get work done effortlessly in the least time possible. I'm going to break this down for you people. You can take screenshots. This is this. I'm, I've, I have designed this for you guys. So what's your ability? Ability consists of like, you know, three important elements, your knowledge, your skill, and then your attitude. For example, productivity is your ability. So what is the knowledge that you possess? Today, whatever I'm going to train you on, that's the knowledge part. So what is the skill part of it? When you start taking actions, like, you know, you start implementing um, uh, gratitude journaling that we've just discussed, that becomes part of your skill. It's, it's like, you know, your hands-on experience. And then the attitude we've just seen, like, you know, you will be in, I mean, like, yeah, I, I assure, not I assure, but then I... Uh, I can confidently say that everybody will get into the responsibility attitude, the way you approach, the way you perceive time. So that's your ability. So you can apply the same thing in other uh, areas of your life also, like, you know, technical skills or uh, maybe personal, like, you know, health. So you can apply anywhere. I mean, yeah, whatever the ability that I'm going to mention. Sorry, I have mentioned. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, so uh, to get work done, when you get work done, what you pro produce? You produce results. The work, when you get work done, that is nothing but your results. And effortlessly. So how can you get anything effortlessly? It's called state management. I'll train you on how to maintain your state. What is state exactly? So everybody goes through like, you know, uh, the emotional ups and downs. There is stress, there is pressure, there is anxiety, there is peer pressure. You know, there is a lot of, you know, overwhelm, uh, overwhelming. There is a lot of overthinking that happens throughout the day. But then how do we maintain our state? It is not just a state of mind. But then what exactly is state? I'm going to take you through that. Okay. So uh, ca can it even happen effortlessly? Yes. It can happen effortlessly. In the least time possible. When I say in the least time, it is not like, you know, a particular task uh, takes like two hours time. It is not like, you know, you can get it done within like, uh, like, uh, let us say one hour or one and a half hours. But then how effectively are you utilizing these two hours without getting into like, you know, procrastination, unproductive patterns or, you know, behaviors like procrastination or perfectionism. I think somebody mentioned like, you know, brooding over the past. And uh, okay, so far is the term that I have coined for different types of work pressure. It is uh, stress, overwhelm, fear, anxiety, and worry. Without getting into all of these things, when you focus on that particular task, when you do not go through that emotional turmoil, okay, when you have the ability, all the knowledge, skill, and attitude, and the right attitude to get results, to produce results, that's when you become productive person, everybody. How many of you got this right? Please take a screenshot of this. Please take a screenshot of this. Are you all with me? Just type in like, you know, uh, yes in the chat box. Yeah, okay, super. Are you all enjoying the learnings already? Are you enjoying the session? If yes, type in E in the chat box. Enjoying, yeah. <laughs> great, great, great. Super. Yeah. So moving ahead. Let me burst the first myth for you. Time management is a myth. <laughs> okay, this is as per my experience, my own research, and then I, especially my experience with like, you know, my clients and then participants, right? Um I'll ask you these two questions. Is time in your control? Which means to say that, can you go back to the past? Not in your mind, but can you literally go back to the past along with time or can you go into the future? No. So is time an external factor or an internal factor? 
so internal factors are like you know my own energy my own focus my actions my behaviors my thoughts all of these things my beliefs all of these things are internal factors okay yeah time is an external factor now ladies and gentlemen my question for you when time is an external factor that you cannot control how can you manage time <laughs> how can you manage time i cannot manage time time management is a myth so what is the key to your productivity your key to your productivity is two things energy and focus management when you maintain these two things energy and focus when you manage these two things which are internal to you which you can improve every single minute not even day every single minute if you can manage these two things you can actually can get time in your control only after managing these two things you can be master of time rather than being slave to the time rather than running behind time how many of you are getting this how many of you are actually imagining this rather than you know running behind time and then being a slave to time you can actually master time when you can manage your energy and focus if you got this concept right uh type in e and f e and f in the chat box great 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 superb energy yeah super so now let's do a small affirmation okay everybody right hand on your heart you know where your heart is i get some naughty answers in my you know sessions like you know my heart is with somebody else uh, sarika <laughs> okay cool okay everybody hands on your heart you can unmute everybody let us do this affirmation together everybody please unmute i think charu everybody has an option right to unmute yes yeah. super please do repeat after me let's do this affirmation together everybody are you all ready everybody Yes. 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 Yay! Great energy. Okay. Time management is a myth. Time management, Time management, management is, a is a myth. Energy and focus management is the key to my productivity. Energy, energy and focus and management is the key to my productivity. Great energy, people. Now, just you know, if you have a bottle of water with you, just have a sip of water. super so now let us dig a little deeper into energy and focus so we uh, i think few people have um, uh, set intentions like you know on how to improve focus and how to uh, you know uh, overcome distractions so just listen to this carefully focus okay before that how many of you would love if your focus improves right in the session in the next 5 minutes how many of you would love that say super excited like sc in the chat box <laughs> great 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 okay so now let us understand let us understand what is focus the focus experts say that it is the act of concentrating your interest on just one thing it's the act of concentrating your interest on just one thing so when you're focusing on one thing at a time you have to eliminate all the other things all the other priorities okay so elimination it's a it's a kind of an eligibility criteria or a prerequisite for you to focus elimination eliminating all other activities and then focusing on the priority task or anything that you're doing at your home at your gym at your work place even if you are with your baby you have to eliminate all other things and then start focusing on one thing so elimination is a key and um many people like you know even i used to complain that why am i not able to focus why am i not able to focus it's not just like we are not able to focus because our brains are designed to focus on one thing at a time our brains cannot multitask multitasking is again a myth okay that's for another session because it will take some time if i you know uh, go uh, the other way 
so we have difficulty to, to decide one thing over another uh, task i mean like one task over another task it's all about how we prioritize how we prioritize how we plan it's about the decision like you know i will work on this particular task by eliminating all other tasks eliminating in the sense like not doing but then eliminating from the mind okay so this is the awareness question to you what are you saying yes to and what are you saying no to are you saying yes to your work or are you saying yes to your social media distractions or even mental distractions at times what are you saying yes to and what are you saying no to please write down on your notepad this is the awareness question for you to focus more just take 30 seconds and then like you know start digesting this so what is focus and what is the prerequisite for focus and how can you focus decide on one thing that's most important all these like you know it looks very simple but then when you start implementing all of these things this becomes part of your mindset attitude your attitude towards your work changes okay so let's move on <clears throat> how many of you seeing a beautiful picture here how many of you love beaches yeah okay cool so now what i'm going to do is i'll put a timer for one minute i want you to i want all of you to focus on this picture for one minute even if you get any you know distractions or something like just don't worry about it just try to focus on this particular picture for just one minute i'm going to keep a timer so are you all ready i love goa yeah even i too love goa are you all ready if you're ready type in r in the chat box that's great people okay so your time starts now just start focusing on the picture all right so i uh, know i just want to um have a couple of volunteers to share your experience like what happened during this one minute can we have a couple of volunteers just quickly couple of sentences yeah hi sarika hi this is shweta here um, hi shweta so actually yeah. when i was just engrossing uh, to this picture i a uh, lot of thoughts were running in my mind i was just loving the uh, you know waves and the bright sunlight and the coconut trees uh, seem to be liking the beach so it's leaning towards it <laughs> and i was just imagining standing and the uh, you know waves are just uh, um, touching my feet and oh, that's wow. what <laughs> i was Super imagining Shweta. okay i think you're a kinesthetic person like you know the touch and feel person okay <laughs> nice thanks for sharing uh, shweta and oh yeah before you leave um i mean like before you go on uh, mute mode uh, was it difficult to focus for one minute were you not distracted really. not really okay it was easy okay cool thank you okay i will have one more volunteer hi sorry oh charu you want to go ahead you no no go, go ahead Uh, hi Sarika Mansi this side so my experience hi, was completely opposite first day i was like wow one minute is that long <laughs> <laughs> but uh, okay. you know actually after some time after uh, 
uh, I was uh, admiring the picture. But uh, yeah, then my mind just went on to thinking some other things. I mean, I probably I didn't uh, check my phone or anything from that sort, but my mind definitely drifted away. Okay. Sure. Thank you for sharing that, Mansi. Um, so how many of you felt a similar experience as of Mansi? Just go ahead and then type in like me in the chat box. Sarika as luck would have it, my phone started ringing and I picked up the phone to see if it was from somebody trying to attend the session. Okay. <laughs> uh, Shruti says same here. Yeah. Okay. So uh, let me give you a brain fact, everybody. Let me give you a brain fact. Our focus fades away every 40 seconds. Please remember this fact. Our focus fades away every 40 seconds. It's because of the phenomenon called law of novelty. Law of novelty. Our brain uh, is, I mean, our brains are designed to always, you know, protect us, safeguard us, right? So it always looks for something, you know, uh, in our environment to try to protect us. That's why it always looks for something new in our environment. Okay, that's called law of novelty. So that's why our focus fades away every 40 seconds. So this is the brain fact. And you can bring back the focus with only your awareness. Otherwise, your focus drifts away and then we don't know, like, you know, you'll be wondering, where did I start and then where did I end up? Right? We all, uh, you know, have come across such kind of experiences, right? Especially when we go through some, you know, intense emotions, right? So start becoming aware that your focus will definitely fade away. Nobody is like, you know, super perfectionist or super productive in the people. They're just becoming aware. They know the stuff and then they start bringing back their focus just with their awareness. So now how can anybody do that? I've already shared this uh, productivity tip. It's called setting intentions. Yeah, Shruti, while watching TV, we don't lose our focus because that's how they, you know, get us hooked into the story or because there is always something new, right? So why do we get hooked uh, to the, you know, uh, Instagram, especially why reels are becoming so famous? They have like, you know, taken advantage of this brain fact. <laughs> if you have seen the reels or, you know, YouTube shorts, like, you know, the maximum span is like 30 seconds. If it is even for more than one minute or one minute, people don't watch it. Have you ever observed why these eight seconds, 10 seconds or 15 seconds reels uh, get the most traction or most likes? So it's because of the brain fact. Okay. So yeah. So setting intentions. I al already mentioned it will double your focus by 2x or 3x. So always set intentions before you do anything. Okay. So now how to set intentions? So for example, for this particular picture itself, for people who have uh, you know, felt a little uh, difficulty in focusing and then whose thoughts just drifted apart. So everybody, again, right hand on your heart. Let us do the small uh, no, intention. I focus on the picture in front of me to train my attentional muscles. So attentional muscles um, are the reason for us to focus more. Okay, for us to improve our, I mean, like, yeah, improve our focus. Yeah. So you can just, you know, do this uh, kind of an affirmation or, uh, you know, intention uh, setting. I focus on the picture right in front of me to train my attentional muscles. All right. So now start focusing on the same picture, everybody. I'll put timer for two minutes this time. Two minutes. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Two minutes. I'm so sorry. Okay, one second. Yeah, yeah, please go ahead.
last 40 seconds. Superb. Okay. Thank you for participating. And I'll just quickly take a couple of volunteers. Please go ahead and share your experience this time. Hi. With so the awareness the fact. Yeah, yeah. With the awareness fact. Uh, and also having set the intentions. Intentions. Yeah. Who's this, please? Hi, uh, Suchita here. So hi, Suchita. I Hi, I'll tell you how I felt. So obviously the first time when we did it, there was a lot of distraction. The second time uh, we were very conscious. I was at least very conscious that I've got to look here without getting distracted. Like you said, there is a span of 40 seconds. And uh, when I looked at it, um, I, I could see deeper into that picture because I was now looking at the cloud formation. I was looking at how the palm trees... Um, in spite of the gravitational force, they're not falling off, they're bending. I was looking at the sun rays on the water uh, and how mm -hmm. that was broken because of the formation of the waves. Okay. Um, so I, I think I could see it with uh, deeper and uh, more uh, segmented uh, view to the big picture. Earlier when I saw it was just one big picture where it's on the beach side. Now I started looking at it as in I was exploring it uh, in pieces, right? Like a puzzle. Superb. That's my shit. Thanks. Superb. Thanks for uh, you know, bringing up all your you know, awareness and then experience, Sajita. Great. And Ashna says like, you no, know, she felt calm. Superb. So anybody wants to share like, you know, your experience? Uh, hi, uh, my name is Aarti. In the first, uh, uh, in this time, when it was two minutes, I actually had to uh, force myself to look into the picture. Uh, okay. My thoughts were going all the way to beach holidays or whatever experiences I would have had in the past. Uh, mm -hmm. But this awareness that you wanted us to keep in mind and bring uh, attention back onto the picture, it was like mm -hmm. a forceful act. Right. It was a forceful act. and uh, But I think uh, that's the signal I was trying to give to my brain that you have to look into it. Look at the other aspects. Look at each and every uh, part of the picture and stuff like that. But yes, it was a big effort. Right, right. So Bob, thanks for bringing that, you know, uh, forceful act and then little effort, uh, you know, the terms like that, Aarti. So for anything, like, you know, when we are practicing on something new, it takes a little effort because uh, whenever we are, you know, uh, doing something new, there is a new neural path that gets formed in our nervous system. So that's why it will take little effort. So for this new, uh, new neural path, to become, you know, a kind of a permanent one, just like, you no, know, when we wake up, we just brush, right? Like without much focus and without much effort, how to do that? I have a small procedure uh, for it. Like I'll take you through that. So how many of you would love that? For anything to become like, you know, a kind of a very, you know, uh, normal routine kind of a thing. Yeah. <laughs> Super. Thank you so much for your responses. So now um, there is this, another technique that I want to give you. How many of you heard about, um, not this one, wait, wait, wait. You have already seen this. Yeah. How many of you heard about Pomodoro technique? Yeah. Okay, are you following? Are you following Pomodoro technique? If you know. <clears throat> yeah. So it's like 25 minutes focused work and then five minutes break. You put time off for 25 minutes, no other distractions, just focus on the task or activity at your hand and then take five minute break. 
this especially when you're working just get up from wherever you are sitting because sitting is the new smoking just get up like 25th minute like you know once your alarm snoozes just get up and then give a proper stretch proper stretch in the 5 minute break no don't go to the you know mobile like okay i have done so much of like you know 25 minutes of work let me get to the phone and then let me you know um, go through some kind of reels or something for entertainment sorry the 5 minutes is to reduce your cognitive fatigue and then your visual fatigue also visual fatigue you can do some uh, eye rotations you know you can just you know calm down like you know just close your eyes and uh, you can do some neck rotations otherwise when you you know uh, work for long hours how many of you uh, end up with having like you know lifestyle issues back pain neck pain i was victim i was victim of all of those th these things and this pomodoro technique has helped me to overcome all of my lifestyle issues yeah and it has helped my you know participants my clients to overcome their lifestyle issues if you don't trust me just go to linkedin there are all like you know a lot of recommendations that are they have mentioned these things yeah so 25 minutes full focus work full deep work and then 5 minutes break in this 5 minutes what are the five things that you can do number one i think uh, number one i've already told just get up and then stretch yourself properly and number two very very easy thing hydrate yourself hydrate yourself just go and have a sip of water right now and third thing third thing deep inhalation and exhalation just for three times that's all that's all and fourth thing uh the activities like you know the neck rotation the eye rotation all of these things and you can do a brain gym activities also it relaxes your brain so how many of you are ready to learn one brain uh, gym technique where you can relax your brain right now okay so yeah so this is called thinking caps thinking caps you can find it on youtube google just type for brain gym activities so one thing i want you to uh, learn today right now so uh, touch your ear lobes like you know with your index finger and thumb touch your ear lobes just just pre press gently press gently press gently press gently you can actually do like this with both of your hands and you can club with your uh, deep breathing exercise also it will relax your whole of the brain and it will improve your listening skills also the simple activity so you know you know uh, even in this 5 minute break you are making yourself productive you are making yourself ready for the next 25 minutes yeah Okay, Sarika, so there is a Brahmari Pranayam exercise. What you were saying mm -hmm. is, so there you like put your fingers into your ears and you make a B sound. Yeah. So yeah, it is something like that. What you are trying to tell? Ah, uh, no, no. Thinking caps is different. Brahmari is like you know you just close your eyes with your thumb and then close your uh sorry ears and then close your uh eyes also and then you make a B sound, right? Yeah. if you have the opportunity to do at office people if you if they think that you know you're not crazy <laughs> you can do that otherwise if you're working from home that's also one of the best ways to relax your brain okay thanks for bringing that up yeah you can do a lot of other activities the whole point of this 5 minute break is for you to relax your brain and then your body just with like small activities which hardly takes few seconds and our fifth activity the most favorite one for me and like for you no know, for all my clients is walking like a lion walking like a lion or lionesses so i request everybody to get up and just for 10 or 20 seconds just go around and then walk like a lion or at the lionesses feel that you are the king or queen of the jungle and then just come back i even i am going for my lion or lioness walk go ahead 20 seconds we are back
Okay, if you're back, the lionesses and then the lions, how are you feeling right now? Okay, Jayanti says, wonderful. <clears throat> Bhavani, uh, Bhavani says, super. Looks like people are uh, no, uh, still on walk. They must be enjoying that. Okay, people, I hope everybody are back, right? Okay. Yes, cool. So, um, just a second. Let me play. So, 25 minutes work, 5-minute break. Again, 25 minutes work, 5-minute break. So, after every 4 Pomodoros, which is two hours. Take full length Pomodoro break. You could use this for your coffee break or lunch break or, you know, then you can touch your phones and then just, like, you know, do some phone calls. Um, maybe respond to some emails. Yeah. So all of these things. And again, four Pomodoro cycle and full Pomodoro break. Four Pomodoro cycle. Okay. So I have uh, completed my book in 90 Pomodoros. It, it, uh, approximately, it is like 45 to 50 hours. So I measure my day in terms of Pomodoros, not hours in, uh, you know, anymore. Because hours, I don't know, like, you know, I, I can't track hours. Just like I track Pomodoros because I enjoy Pomodoros. So how many of you promise that you will start doing Pomodoros? Are you guys there? Are you all with me? Am I audible? Yeah, okay. Great. Great Gauri, great Aarti, Dolly, Bhavani, Ritika, Mansa, superb, superb. Yeah. Also, as per a Harvard study, short breaks at your work will improve your productivity by 300%. So remember this. So next, moving on to uh, the energy. <clears throat> I'll quickly take you through because of the, uh, you know, uh, the time uh, we have just 10 more minutes left. So I'll just quickly take you through this. Uh, our energy is the ability to do work. It's our ability to do work. There are four different types of energy, physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual. So coming to the, um, yeah, before that. So what is your peak time? Like, you know, where you're feel that, you know, you're at your highest energy levels to do the most important tasks every day. Do you know what is your peak time? Do you know what is your peak time? So peak time usually will be uh, for every person, it will be approximately for two hours. For me, my peak time is uh, morning hours, like five to eight. Anytime between five to eight, I get most of my tasks completed. Now I'm authoring second book where I'm interviewing like, you know, successful people, highly productive people all across the world. And then that book is coming out. So I spend one hour on that every, you know, in the morning. So what's, my, what's your peak time? If you don't know, just uh, go back uh, in the, like, you know, from the past two weeks, just reflect on when did you accomplish the most difficult task, most challenging task. So you can start becoming aware of yourself. Yeah. Yeah, for some people it's morning, for some people it's like, you know, early evenings. So figure out yourself, figure out uh, that for yourself and then do the most challenging or difficult task during that time. And other ta tasks will, you know, uh, get covered in uh, other hours. So now uh, physical energy. How can you maintain your physical energy? Three important things, food, sleep, workouts. Now, let me ask you a quick question. How many of you feel a little lethargic after your lunch? After your lunch, how many of you feel a little lethargic, a little lazy? Yeah. So if you uh, if you feel that, uh, just check on your plate. Are you having more carbohydrates? Cut down on carbohydrates and have more proteins. Have more proteins. Carbohydrates are the reason. Uh, like the nature of carbohydrates itself is like you know you uh, feel a little lethargic. 
so cut down on carbohydrates yeah sleep consistent sleep sleep discipline is most important consistent sleep and the number of hours that you sleep seven hours is minimum six hours is not at all minimum because six hours uh, is the amount of time that the whole body take to rejuvenate and then you know uh, renew the whole of the body like you know repair the whole of the body it takes minimum of six hours so six and a half to seven hours is a mandatory thing and workouts when you work out a feel good hormone called endorphin gets produced which actually fights stress so work out for at least 30 to 35 minutes like you know these are like medium intense workouts for 30 to 35 minutes because uh, it takes 25 to 30 minutes for endorphins to produce in your body not you uh, know low intense but then when you do medium or high intense workouts that's when endorphins gets produced okay so remember these three things and um, second so the next one is your mental energy mental energy is with respect to your thoughts so how many of you feel overwhelmed at times with a lot of work yeah so uh, remember the brain fact that you know our brain always gives us constant reminders about the unfinished tasks or open loops so here is the productivity tip for you get the shit out of head so now how to get the shit out of head so for any particular task write down the outcome what is the outcome and then poa poa is nothing but your plan of action plan of action three things what should be done if there are any sub tasks in that particular outcome and when it should be done and then who should do it you need to do or you need to delegate to somebody so this is the clarity of action that i was mentioning like you know when i was talking about motivation is highly overrated so this is where you get the clarity of action for your entire day for every task take you know get the shit out of the head and then start having the clarity of action outcome plus plan of action otherwise your brain always gives you that constant reminders hey you know what you need to call that person hey you know what you need to mail that person hey you know what you do uh, you need to attend to your baby or you need to uh, talk to your mother in law or like whatever whatever okay so get all the shit out of your head productivity guru david allen he is the author of best selling book called get things done so everybody please go ahead and then, you know buy that book he says our brains should not hold ideas but then create ideas our brains should not hold ideas but then should create ideas so when you implement this productivity tip you can actually enjoy a lot of creative freedom and then reduce the overwhelmingness sarika okay. yeah you will be able to wrap up in the next two or three minutes uh i have so much to share but then yeah i'll just finish with this energy part no. and then yeah so i i just want to keep so if we if is everybody okay we'll go over like we'll keep your content for five more minutes and then if yeah. we can spare another five minutes for like taking two two questions there's so much i know but yeah, uh, yeah. i think <laughs> yeah. that we'll be because... cover up for a bit of the lost time also yeah yes and i have joined a little late uh, so i just Okay, how many of you would love to stay for like you know uh ten more minutes, Charu? If that is okay with yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, sure. Twelve and, forty, and, and we can share the recording with everybody. So don't don't think Super. like you you'll miss out. Okay, so we we'll keep going, Super. and most people are okay staying back. Awesome, awesome, guys. Thank awesome. you, everybody. Okay, keep yeah. going. Great, cool. I think a few people are waiting. Uh, I'm getting the notification, Charu. Please take care. No, no, yeah. I'm I'm admitting them. Yeah, they're dropping off, so I'm admitting them. Sure, sure. Okay. So, uh, the third one and most important part, emotional energy. Emotional energy is a quality of energy. Like you know, it 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 gives us the quality of energy to do the work. When we are in the good moods, when we are super inspired, when we are like you know, uh, uh like, no, I would yeah. I, sometimes like you know, when we are highly motivated. we don't need anything but then we just want to get the things done get the work done right so that's a quality of energy and we tend to perform best when we are feeling positive energy so a simple tip a simple tip which you already know 
that you can implement whenever you feel like you know you're uh, feeling low or you know you're not feeling uh, inspired to work one simple technique is just ask yourself what am i grateful for today that brings you to the present moment you can also do deep inhalation and exhalation and uh, you can also do this one minute rule okay one minute rule it will also help you to overcome procrastination one minute rule everybody just work for one minute full focus for one minute full focus for one minute you will uh, i mean your brain will start producing dopamine star hormone okay that's more than enough for you to get inspired to you know get into the moment simple one minute rather than focusing for 25 minutes you know uh, pomodoro technique one minute that's it that keeps you in the moment yeah so uh, lastly the spiritual energy i have said the context with respect to the work i'm not you know going entirely with the spiritual uh, thing because i'm not an expert in that area but then with the, with the, with respect to the context of work what is the meaning what is the purpose and then what is the significance that spiritual energy what is the meaning what is the purpose of your work what is the significance of your work ask this question it's a reflective question for you what am i contributing at work today that brings your spiritual energy what am i contributing at work today are you doing something out of uh, like um, out of your own role or responsibility maybe you contributing something there or are you uh, mentoring your juniors yeah are you doing something out of the box out of your roles and responsibilities without expecting anything because for whatever we are working we are getting the salary but then out of that what what gives you happiness what keeps you uh, you know um, what gives you that you know significance at work so ask this question what am i contributing at work today all right so with that we come to the end of like uh, the four different types of energy so if everybody understood that type in p for physical e for uh, emotional sorry m for mental e for emotional and s for spiritual p m e s in the chat box quickly go ahead and then yeah p m e s in the chat box that's great that's great superb superb energy guys okay so to conclude what exactly is productivity there are three elements that is involved one is time which is the source of our life it is not resource time energy and focus so whenever you feel that you are exhausted you know which element will be missing it's the energy element that is missing if you feel that you are getting distracted the focus element is missing so i've already given you all the tips all the awareness packs uh whenever you feel distracted you know which tool to pick up whenever you feel exhausted uh amongst all the different four in different energies you should know like which tool to pick up which energy is missing and then which tool to pick up and then even though your energy is full on your focus is full on but then if you feel like you know your time is getting wasted which means that you're going through a lot of work pressure that's a whole different workshop altogether but then i'm just giving you the overall picture here work pressure and then uh, unproductive patterns or you know tendencies so that's where our time gets wasted if you want to take a screenshot of this please go ahead and then take a screenshot yeah i hope you have taken the screenshot um so uh, uh charu i'll just take two more minutes and then we can so, uh, yeah. we have a yeah. breakout session yeah okay we won't do just... breakout we'll take two questions from the okay. audience yeah all right all right yeah great so i'll take you through the uh, state the 10x productive state one second so usually this is the blueprint for uh, your success or for your um, 
I always consider failure as a feedback or learning. So your thoughts leads to feelings, feelings leads to actions, and then actions leads to results. For every thought that you're thinking, there is a feeling associated. For feelings are the fuel to actions and actions produces results. Okay, enough. So between action and uh, result. So for any action to become part of your behavior, it takes three days. If you want to start something new, do not give up for at least three days. It, because you, as I already mentioned, the new neural path gets formed when you start something new. Okay, so it, it uh, needs three days. And then a behavior, if it has to become part of your habit, it takes one mandalam. This is coming from Ayurveda. One mandalam is equal to 40 days. When you do consistently in a disciplined way for 40, anything like, you know, for 40 days, it becomes the, your new neural path, which you have formed as part of your behavior. It gets, it gets like, you know, uh, strengthened. Just like when you wake up, you brush, you know, you do your daily chores, it becomes part of your habit. And habits is what produces results, people. Effortless, you remember effortless? It's, it's all about the habits. And when you form these habits, it forms your identity. Okay. Why do you think you're a procrastinator? This is, I think few people have mentioned procrastination. People say I'm a procrastinator because that's the identity they identify themselves with. Few people, they always uh, identify themselves as a productive person or a highly successful person or a high performer. And based on this identity, it's, it's a reverse thing also. Based on that identity, which is a very powerful thing to look at, they form the habits. Just like, you know, you uh, uh, got your awareness back when you were doing this uh, beach picture exercise, right? You got back your awareness. That's how you can shift your uh, perspective or your uh, awareness from being a procrastinator to a productive person. It's, it's all in the identity. Okay, and now what is a productive state, like a 10x productive state? Whatever you're feeling, just start becoming aware of your thoughts. Whatever you're feeling right now, start becoming aware of your thoughts and take actions. For example, let us say you are, you are feeling overwhelmed, for example. Okay, so what could be the um, relative thought for that? you're already feeling overwhelmed. The thought could be also like, you know, okay, there are too many things in my uh, plate, like, you know, too many things in my head. That could be thought. And what could be the action item that you can take? I've already given you a productivity tip. Get the shit out of it. If you take that action item, if you put down all of those things and you, you have the clarity of actions, you take actions and how do you feel? Because of the dopamine that gets produced, feel good. And then you produce results. It's a, it's a wish, you know, uh, virtuous a cycle that I want you to, I mean, I want you guys to get stuck into. It's a virtuous cycle. It's a virtuous, like a you know, positive cycle of productivity. Whatever you're feeling, you know, become aware of the thought, take action because I have given you, you know, certain productivity tools and tip, uh, tips and then feel good, produce results. This is a productive state, everybody. How many of you are seeing that? Yeah, super. So uh, just, I think, yeah, we'll just wind up. And then if you have any questions and before questions, like, you know, what are the you know key takeaways from the past, you know, one hour, 15 minutes or 20 minutes precisely? What are your key takeaways from this session? Just go ahead and then type in. The yeah, if we can have, if we can have 20 seconds for people to type that yeah. out. Yeah. yeah. What was the session useful first of all? Like, you know, if it, if it was useful, yeah, yeah, go ahead and type in yes or you like useful. Great, great, great. Super. If you feel it was useful, just, you know, turn on your videos. Let's like, you know, quickly take a picture because it's going yes, to be please. a great memory for Shinomics and then me also. Yeah.
if you're happy about the whole session <laughs> yes please can i have some yeah 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 go okay. ahead guys yeah so charu has put in great efforts and then bhavana also from the background so thank you charu for all the efforts that you put in thank you so much um, it's not easy yeah no no of course we have a great community and all that we do from them they inspire us um so what i'm going to do now is uh we can take one quick question one question whoever has sarika all right yeah i have a question go ahead yeah. uh, uh i'm shweta actually i am the question that i have is that uh, I, at times i uh, find it uh, difficult to I, i mean i can focus very well on a task and i complete uh, to my heart's content but uh, my challenge is that when i have to do another task uh, then um, you know uh, uh, some part, uh, parts of the task i would have completed and i'll have to switch to something else and something else before i could complete the task number 1 so i find it challenging to actually focus on the next task so mm -hmm. that's my question and how can i actually shift my a uh, focus on the next task uh, um, so yeah i would like to hear that from you i i find okay. this a little bit challenging and at times i miss on the timeline and the deadline only because i'm i am focused on one task and i'm not able to get over it and move to the next one so okay can you help me yeah sure um who was it who just spoke sorry Shweta. Yeah, yeah. Shweta, yes, yeah. Shweta. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, Shweta, first of all, um, do you have a clarity on all of your tasks, the sub activities or sub tasks? Yes. Do you jot down? Yes, I do. Super. Okay, so uh, you know what are the tasks or sub activities that you've you uh, know just accomplished with respect to the first task? Yeah. And you also. right yeah so you also mentioned that you know uh, you you haven't completed the whole of the particular you uh, know first task but then you need to switch to the second task is is that how your usual uh, routine will be yes so that's how my routine would be because i would be dependent on um, some data or something like that in my huh. task number 1 so i can't proceed okay. until i get it but a lot of thoughts mm -hmm. would be coming to my mind what if and mm -hmm. all that so mm -hmm. yeah that's how it is my task number 2 would be uh, or maybe a meeting that i would be attending it would be a completely different topic so i would still be in the previous one mentally but <laughs> i'll have to focus on the task too yeah okay super but then you have a clarity on the remaining tasks that is there yes it's not that you know you're going to miss on any of these tasks because you've already delegated and you're waiting for the uh, reports or whatever like you know the work from others so th that yes. much is clear right okay now your question is like you know how i should move from this particular task to another task with full focus is that your question shweta yes okay simple celebrate whatever you've done celebrate wins celebrate just you know hey i've celebrated you know you you don't believe like this sound super crazy uh i i can send you i can share you some videos of my participants like you know they literally dance they literally you know uh, do some music they j j just you know jump with a lot of energy and they celebrate all of these small wins star hormone remember dopamine they take advantage of this star hormone called dopamine and as i already mentioned just take some break in between do the brain gym activities it for you know relaxes breathing activities it, it relaxes whole of your body and uh, brain and uh, uh, walking like a lion what are the state change activities that i have mentioned just do it and then set intentions before you uh, start taking task number 2 and get the shit out of head with respect to task number 2 with clarity of action are you seeing the entire thing everybody okay the beauty of it is when you take actions and experience a magic for yourself okay charu if that is okay like you know you can share my number or like you know yes. share my email so, address to all so what them. we will do is what we'll do is we'll share your email id um yeah. actually can you just put your email id id in the chat um 
right now i'm i'm putting putting yeah yeah, yeah. so and i will write up so everybody um thank you so much uh, for staying back and once again thank you for your patience but i think it was so worth it we could go on for a a good half an hour more it still would not be enough so just to make sure we keep those dopamine levels high i want everybody to type out a heart like i want to see all 27 hearts over here quickly just to show sarika that we've actually been hearing what she's saying and we're going to make all that effort now to keep the vitamin d high and actually uh, you know we've learned how to bust all the myths of time management and focus on energy and focus management and that's what we want all of you always to keep that magic going so have a lovely weekend and week ahead and thank you for being here and thank you so much sarika for your time um and your commitment to come back even in the situation you were in thank you so much thank you so much arthur for putting up this great show i hope everybody have benefited uh, so yes. i think we'll we guys will keep in touch on linkedin otherwise yes. like you know you know charu okay have a great uh, weekend ahead thank you so much everybody yes and i've also put the link to um sarika's book 10x productive uh, it's available on amazon or you know actually take that time off the screen and buy your paperback issue and uh, also yes looking forward to your next book good luck for that thank you so much aro bye take care